While reviewing my last video about depth-wise separable convolution, I noticed in the last part, uh, last five minutes or so, that I did a small technical mistake. Um, although the point uh, did not change, I'd like to repeat or to redo that part. So basically what I was talking about is uh, the why, do, why we do not factorize the spatial dimensions or at least why authors of MobileNet V1 did not factorize these spatial dimensions uh, into two smaller kernels. So the first kernel is a one-dimensional kernel which would filter the height dimension and the other kernel would filter the width dimension. Well, the answer uh, given by authors is that the computational gain is very small or insignificant uh, but I don't think that this is a good reason because they should have mentioned the trade-off they do not seem to mention that um, in the paper uh, whatever uh, my focus now is not the question of trade-off or anything but rather to explain why the computational gain is very little uh, very small or very very uh, little so this is what I want to talk about to understand this uh, you need to know first that as we go deeper in the network, in the mobile net V1 uh, architecture, so as we go deeper in this model, what happens to the number of channels or the depth, this is the same thing, number of channels is the same as depth, so th th this increases. So, for example, at a given stage in the network, this starts by <coughs> uh, 32, then it becomes 64, then becomes 128, then uh, 256, then 512, then 124. So this is the number of channels in the output of each layer in the mobile net v1 so let me give you a concrete example let's say that we are at we want to filter this uh, the layer uh, the output of this layer that gives us uh, gave us a number of channels equal, equal to 512 sorry I would have to respond later whatever uh, sorry for this uh, interruption so here I consider that I have an output with a depth that is equal to 512. So this is the depth or the number of channels, right? So we have 1, 2, up to 124. What I'm doing? Up to 512. So this is the number of channels, right? So if you want to filter this with depth-wise convolutions, depth-wise convolutional layer, we would need 512 3 times 3 times 1 kernels. Similarly, if you want to filter this output with point-wise convolutional layer, then you'd need um, so the number of channels in the next uh, output is 124 so this means that we would need 124 1 by 1 by 512 kernels right because remember 1 by 1 kernel should span over the entire depth of the, the, the data. So what does this mean? What is the number of parameters per kernel? So the number of parameters per, per kernel is always 3 times 3 times 1, which is just 9. Whereas in this case, the number of parameters per kernel is 1 times 1 times 512. This is just 512. So you can see that 512 is much higher than 9 and this is the reason why most of the computations are required by point-wise convolution rather than depth-wise uh, convolution. However, I do not think that 
separating or factorizing spatial dimensions uh, is useless for two reasons. The first reason is that, as I told you earlier, authors of MobileNet v1 do not seem to provide um, quantitative measures of the trade-off of factorizing the spatial dimensions. Moreover, there are at least two works, previous works, that factorize the spatial dimensions. So I think that this is uh, uh, the question of whether th this is useful or not is questionable.